Sorry to cover the supermarket meeting tomorrow. What? Oh, oh, yeah. No problem. You don't have to put on the front for my benefit, you know. What do you mean? The situation with Adam. I can see you're upset and I get it. I've lost a grandson too. James, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't even asked how you're doing. Well, I don't mind admitting I'm gutted, but um, compared to what Adam's going through, it's. Um... Sorry, I'm late. Not like you? No, oh, that's fine. James, would you mind making a start on feeding the herd and I'll be out in a minute? Yeah, sure. Last night. I'm sorry, okay. I don't know where that came from. Well, I, I was upset with Kane, but we've made up now. We're married, so that's the end of it. And what happened between us, it was, it was a moment of madness. So let's just forget about it, okay? Yeah. That's what Finn said. You've told Finn? My head was massive this morning, but I knew something was up. Well, you, you say you're hungover or something, but for God's sake, Pete, if this gets out... Well, he's not going to say anything. What if he starts acting weird around me and Kane picks up on it? No, I can't take that risk. You're not going to tell him? Well, it'll be a lot worse for both of us if he hears about this from someone else. Oh. Now, look, um, you go and do the deliveries and I'll make sure he knows that it's nothing for him to get worked up about. Hope you're hungry. Actually, I need to work up an appetite. Oh. Mm. So uh, <laughs> last night wasn't enough of an apology for you, eh? Uh, OK, and that's, that's, that's not why I called you home. We need to talk. Oh, we don't need to go through this again. No, 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 but you, you were right when you told me that I should have told you about Ross. So there's something else that you need to know. What's he done now? N not him. Pete. He kind of made a move on me. OK. Well, you told him where to get off, right? But let's not make this something that it's not. It's, it's just one stupid mistake. Yeah, I'll say. But you've still not answered my question. So keep talking. It came out of nowhere. And he knows it was wrong, so there's no need to go off on one. You don't get to decide what I'm going to do about it. Well, it's not like you haven't made mistakes. Chrissy, for one. And you didn't even own up to that until you were forced to. At least I'm telling you about this straight away. Straight away? So when, when did this happen exactly? W when he was round last night? Keen, just come on. So what are you thinking about when we're in bed? How can you even ask that? Well, it's your type, isn't it? Closest you thing you've got to good old dependable John. What? You are my type. But if you must know, Pete has been there for me when you haven't. I've been going through hell over all this stuff with Adam and I needed someone to talk to. I'd prefer it to be my husband, but you were nowhere to be seen. Well, talk is one thing, but why would he come on to you unless you thought he had a chance? I don't know. I'm not going to apologise for something that I haven't done. You've thought about it, though, haven't you? No! I don't want this. I'm just as upset as you are. Where are you going? He's crossed a line. And he needs talking to. 